Syrian children living in refugee camps have been gifted with hundreds of unique pieces of artwork, all thanks to a London-based creative collective. Tatiana RJ from the e-commerce site Art Finder is behind the initiative and is back in the capital after running workshops with young people in the Middle East. Tatiana, thank you very much indeed for joining us. What a fantastic project. Thank you so much. When you think of the sorts of awful conditions that young people are living in in some of these refugee camps, you think of basic provisions they need of shelter, of food, not necessarily art why was that something you wanted to focus your efforts on um, it was it was something human for for children to be able to receive uh, something that would engage with their faculty of imagination and also to receive um, letters of love from around the world um, art finder has over a hundred countries that um, that have artists uh, and receiving those art those postcards from around the world Made, um, made a difference. Talking of that difference, young people who received some of the postcards we're yes. currently seeing on the screen, what sort of response do they have? The children and a lot of the families um, that received these postcards whilst I was there were hugely touched. Um, you know, uh, it's, it's just uh, opening a package showing that people still care from around the world. So it was, um, it was really special. How does it work logistically to send postcards, <laughs> hundreds of postcards, to refugee camps in Lebanon? Well, I was working with one particular um, independent camp called Malak, and uh, Malak has about 300 children um, that it looks after. And uh, it was asking the artists to send a postcard to an address with a phone number, and it would be uh, a little man on a scooter delivering this package of, um, of accumulated mail that would come in after two, three, four, five days. Pretty impressive stuff. Yeah. Just give us an idea of what the situation is like in some of these refugee camps for young people. Um, I can't say it's easy. It's uh, these people, a lot of the people that I was with have been um, there for four years. So again, I was in northern Lebanon in Akar and it um, it's cold, it's dim, and it's, it's sad, but the people are extraordinary. They're heroes. Uh, and the children all want to either become doctors or architects to rebuild their country.